Good afternoon. Welcome to the Weather Gurus channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me on this August 13th, 2020. I wanted to give you an update on Tropical Storm Josephine. This earlier this morning, it was known as Tropical Depression 11, but it has since strengthened to become our Tropical Storm Josephine, which is our another record in the Atlantic coast. Um, it became our 10th name system, and it's the earliest named J Storm on record in the basin by nine days. The former record belonged to Jose, which developed on August 22nd, 2005. I just want to say right off the bat that August is a very interesting month for hurricane season. It is not the peak of the hurricane season. The peak of the hurricane season begins in mid-September and lasts through late October. But what's interesting about August is that we've had a lot of prominent and powerful storms come through in August. Hurricane Charlie that hit Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte, and the, and the southwest coast of Florida came through in August. Hurricane Andrew came through on August 24th, 1992, some 20, 30 years ago. Also, we had Hurricane Charlie. I mean, we had, sorry, we had Hurricane Charlie, Andrew, and we also had Hurricane Harvey come through Texas in the month of August. So August produces some very ominous and powerful storms. And so now we have Josephine out here. Winds are currently sustained at 45 miles an hour. That's the max sustained wind. Central pressure holding steady at 1,005 millibars. It's currently booking along pretty fast at west-northwest at 15 miles per hour or 13 knots. And what's interesting is still 1,000 or more miles away from the Leeward Islands and the Caribbean. Now, um, on this track... This latest advisory we have at 11 a.m. The next advisory is due at 5 p.m. And so we're looking forward to still not affecting any land mass. Uh, max sustained winds, but it has gotten very greatly organized, okay? And so the intensity level has been kept at this over the next three to five days, uh, the National Hurricane Center, and we expect it to be a strong tropical storm, somewhere between 50 and 60 miles an hour winds, maximum sustained winds. And there's no indications that it will develop into a hurricane at this moment. However, we should keep an we should keep a watch on it because that can be possible that it can be a minimal hurricane. So I'll show you the forecast cone here, and this is what, the, what we're thinking here: is that the system will following a subtropical ridge high, or the Bermuda high, will be influenced around the western subtropical ridge, and it'll make it its way up just north of the uh, Puerto Rican trench in the Atlantic Ocean here somewhere this weekend by Sunday as a tropical storm. And then it's forecast to weaken to a depression by next week, Tuesday, as it makes its way closer and closer to uh, the mid-Atlantic, maybe possibly affecting the western fringe of Bermuda Islands out there in the Atlantic. But that's that's a couple of ways, days away to be seen what will happen. But in that case, they will have forecast it weakening to a depression. And one of the reasons why they have a weakening is that right now it's in an environment where there's a lot of Saharan dust. As you see this dust up here to the top of the bright screen that comes across as a pulse across here. And also there's a lot of wind shear that's affecting the development on the west and the northeast side of the system. It currently has better good inflow here. As you can see, the inflow coming into the system looks to be pretty good for now. But the outflow is being affected up top by blown off by some of this wind shear that we can see here. So it will continue to struggle, but uh, it will be it is a going to be a formidable tropical storm, to say the least. So it's going to be out here. It's going to be out here for a couple of days. Um, just floating around and, and right now they don't have it making landfall anywhere um, in the contiguous United States or in the Caribbean right now. But things could change if that subtropical ridge high that we have out there breaks down. And so the 2020 Atlantic se hurricane season is just getting started. Um, we have this is the earliest named J storm, like I said, in a long, long time. And this shatters the Nether Atlantic hurricane record. Listen, we, we're forecast this year to go to the Greek alphabet because we have 24 letters in our storm list for this year, right? And then we have to go to the Greek alphabet if we exceed that. We are just now into August, getting to the middle of August, and we're already on the J name storm. So it's possible that we could be heading into the Greek alphabet this year, regardless of if these storms make landfall or not. In the Pacific um, Ocean, then we have Hurricane Alita, which is also there. And the Pacific Ocean is also being uh, ramped up as well. And so there are supposed to be forecasted for 11 hurricanes up to this season. So that's what we're looking at. And we, last time we used the Greek letters was back in the 2005 hurricane season. 
And right now, this tropical activity is suppressed until next week because of the dry air that's in the Caribbean Basin Sea in the Gulf of Mexico. So storms and the strong wind shear, as I said again, the strong wind shear that is blowing across the ocean from west to east into the Atlantic Ocean is going to hamper the tropical activity into early next week, into early Wednesday. However, that buffer zone is not going to last too long. As you know, these things, these, these waves come and they go. They ebb and they pulse. And so definitely by we have another system coming by the end of August, somewhere around the 20th or 24th that we're very interested in. Another wave coming off Africa that we're very interested in. And that one could be our next name storm being K, which I believe is Karen, but I have to check on that. But that's going to be the next storm that we're going to watch coming off the no, probably after next week when this Josephine gets all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. So we still have a couple of days to watch, like I said. Um, whatever happens with the system from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next weekend, it, the only landmass it could possibly affect would be Bermuda with some strong gusty winds, but nothing too crazy. It won't make a direct hit or anything as a depression, tropical depression, if the forecast verifies. The next advisory is at 5 p.m. Please stay tuned for that, and we continue to see that it will probably continue to be a tropical storm with winds somewhere between 45 and 50 miles an hour with this strong wind shear battering it east of the Leeward Islands. Thank you very much. This is the Weather Guru. Please stay tuned and please hit that subscribe and like button. Have a great afternoon.